Right, so I am super short on time. I'm literally leaving in half an hour to catch a flight. So I just wanna get this recorded before I don't have access to my main computer. <sighs> I have spent the last week diligently working on the pack. Now the initial plan was to take it one advancement tab at a time, but no, I have gone ahead and I finished all of them at once and then thrown in some bosses too. Now, first off, again, insanely rushed for time. So I do apologize if there is bugs, right? And anything completely that just breaks the game, right? Sorry, not much I can do about it. Again, it was a rush. I, I just thought this was what I wanted to get done. In fact, well, I want to get more done. I want to not only do this video, but a video on each of the tabs, just going through it. But we'll quickly just get, give a initial breakdown on the tabs and, and how the progression should go. But I do just want to do this quickly, give ourselves a heart and chuck them in here. Yeah, okay, good, it's working. So this is a affinity weapon, right? It's fancy, schmancy. It's got a upgrade chance on attack to trigger ancient affinity. Yeah, it's in there. Everything's successful, everything's working, at least to the best of my knowledge. I have tried to reword them as best as possible to explain accurately and concisely what you need to do to unlock the advancements. So starting off, we have the Rune Chanters basic tab. Now the addition here from last time is this little section here. And these are all the unlocks for the different tabs. Now you can go to the Nexus. My idea for the Nexus is for it to serve as an alternative unlock method for all the different tabs, all the different unlocks. But there are obviously other ways to do it. So for instance, this one that is cut off says Conqueror Warden. Well, it's not that cut off actually. Conqueror Warden or acquire the corresponding scroll of knowledge to unlock a new advancement tab. Required one reinforced deep site. Yes, so the Warden now drops reinforced deep site, which is important for something later. Well, you can discover it. It's in the pack here. You will need to craft stuff on the reinforced deep site, but all of them have, again, those two Unlock me hacks, either go to the Nexus, buy the scroll, or do whatever it says, and you can unlock all the different tabs, okay? Everything is accessible. Everything should hopefully flow together, and there is a lot of features here to explore and have fun with, and need to be tested, so please, give it a go, please. Help me out. Ah, okay, so this is the Runic Brewing tab, right? A little brief description, codex of all knowledge pertaining to the use of flora and potion making. So we have a few different potion making mechanisms. We have the wax refinery. So all multi-block structures are now in the challenge frame. Once you unlock them, they will show up here, right? So you have a nice little codex that you can come to without having to sift through and trying to remember where everything is. But just to break down, we have grinding up plant matter and paper and other stuff. We have the wax refinery to create wax potions, which are weapon coatings, essentially allowing you to inflict status effects onto enemies if you have them in hand. Then we have this plant, figure that out for yourself. And then we have cauldron brewing, which allows us to brew simple potions, uh, improve upon potions we have already made using new roots found from the sniffer and disperse potion effects into the environment. After that, we have worldly discoveries, we have the artifact hearts, which again, important for our affinity system. We have seasons, we have some villager stuff, but most importantly, we have bosses. So there are five bosses accessible. To unlock this information, you will have to unlock every single advancement tab, minus the labyrinth of the first, because it's it's not functional yet, All right? And then these will show up and you can craft these unique items. You can then follow these little bits of hints and go and find a boss, All right? Might be grossly overtuned, I'm sorry. Again, I have absolutely no time to test any of this and I'm just hoping it all works because again, I've, I've spent a week trying to get this done by this da day and I, I'm still a little behind because yeah, I, I should have just done a few, but yeah. Okay, rare oddities, so items to find, so unique items like unique terms of undying, uh, some unique consumables, no, not consumables, what do you call these, throwable items? Yeah. Then we have miscellaneous items, we have food, uh, we have rotten flesh, we have more miscellaneous items, but with a different name. <laughs> and then we have decorated pots. So perhaps if a construct heavy enough were to stand on it, so you can use an iron golem to smash decorated pots, to get you some goodies, fight some mobs, and then also unlock some different trims. Again, follow the advancements. I've, I've worked tirelessly to try and get this done, to try and make sure that it is Easy enough to read and understand, so drop a stack of corrupted male scrap, pig hide, and an iron golem core, which should be an A, 
we'll, we'll worry about semantics when I come back, onto a reinforced deep slate block, along with a already trimmed piece of armor to convert it to a new ancient trim. Then we have the physical arts, which is all to do with attribute manipulation. So we have all the different material attribute bonuses, set attribute bonuses, weapon attribute, not weapon effect bonuses for doing certain patterns. Yeah, no, I'm getting a bit tongue tied. We have leather trimming. We have special craftables. We have alternative brushes. We have tinkering. So my version of, of pretty much tinkerers construct, right? Using these tinkerers templates to again, grant attributes to items. And then we have iron nails. But Chance Nexus already gone over. Labyrinth not done. This is the big one. Okay, so manipulating Shulk, there's two paths to follow and both lead to pretty powerful weapon upgrades. So right in my hand, we have our affinity weapon. So it's following this branch. There is a bunch of books you can use. So you do have to use an enchanting book, a heart, and then obviously whatever weapon you want. And depending on the combination, it will result in different effects. Then we also have some enchants, which are unlocked by using a crystal as well as granting an item, this empty slot mechanic, right? Read up. Hopefully it's all understandable. And then last week we have the magic system and the magic system is probably the thing I put the most time into because it is absolutely immense, right? There are five different enchanting books you can use a base. There are three different books you can then craft. So it's already three by five, right? And then we throw in the affinities, which are another 12, three by five by 12. And then we throw in the charms and there is a lot of charms. So each of these charms is essentially a different spell. And depending on whichever ones you attach to the book, you will come up with different combinations of spells. So all together, you times them all together. You got a lot to explore and a lot to play around with. Then we also have rune crafting, which allows us to place these special runes into item frames. And then they trigger effects when a player or mob walks over them. Anyway, that is, that is the summation, right? Of the main features of the pack. Okay, magic between spell books and runes. And then also some extra goodies. Maybe playing Shulk to get affinity weapons with special abilities, as well as some unique enchants for the weapons. Then we have the Nexus, a whole bunch of mini game activities. You can get some powerful rewards, but altogether it's, it's sort of self-contained. Then we have the physical arts, everything to do with accessing attributes on equipment, applying them, getting bonuses from the trimming system that was inbuilt into Minecraft, as well as a training dummy for you to test stuff out on. Rare oddities, all the rare items you can find. Every mob in the game now has a unique drop similar to a Wither Skeleton Skull. So go hunting, flesh this out. Worldly Discovers, Boss, and Seasons, and Hearts, right? These are more static things, but the bosses go out, fight them, see if you can best them. Runic Brewing, Potion Making, split between uh, increasing normal potions and then crafting these wax coatings to apply status effects to your weapons. So then you can inflict those status effects and they do detail what they do, right? Unlike some of the other ones, I just haven't gotten around to explaining slash. I don't really think I can fit in the, what the spells do. You'll have to just try them out and see what works, right? I mean, name wise, you should be able to figure out what some of them do. Okay. And then just the basics, right? Everything you need to start off as well as the ways to unlock all the different advancement tabs. That is it. I'm out of time. Okay. You know, here, just before we go, give me a husk. See if we can proc the weapon, right? It's been a while since I've shown this off. Yeah. Okay. So every now and then we get a line of evoker bangs. It is luck based. Everything in the pack is basically luck based. You want the luck stat. You want luck potions. Okay. Hope you enjoy. See ya.